Today, I'm going to introduce SimpleTX. SimpleTX is the open source firmware for RC transmitters. It is capable of supporting Express RS TX modules. The purpose of this firmware is to keep everything simple. Simple to make, simple to code, and simple to DIY. There is a super slim module inside. This transmitter uses gestures to adjust the parameters of the ERS system, and this was inspired by the Civil War. Currently, they have two presets. The first preset is 250 Hz, 25 milliwatts, and the second preset is 150 Hz, 100 milliwatts. That's for mid-range cruising. The OLED is attached to the TX module, showing some basic information of the Express RS system. Next, I will show you how to solder in the PCBs and flash the firmware. The PCB is located in the GitHub repo, link below. It uses uh, i Nano plugs, resistors, and the PCB. First, send two resistors. This is the voltage divider to monitor the voltage of the system. And this is a plug for the gimbals. And uh, so to the Arduino nanobolt on the PCB. This is for the batteries. This system used two S batteries. Be careful for the polaries. Make sure positive is to positive, negative is to negative. Otherwise, you know. This is a connection to the TX module. It has three wires. The voltage, the GND, and the S port. The part is directly connected to the MCU. Be careful, it needs some amplifier. Next. Is the firmware part. You can download the latest firmware on the GitHub page. I use Arduino IDE, so the first thing is to download the, the IP file, the firmware. The crsf.io is the old file. Please go into the folder, simple TX. And the double click the simple TX will open the Arduino ID. But if you haven't installed the Arduino ID, please install that first. Open the source code with Arduino ID. The first thing to do is to change the board to Arduino Nano, which was used in this version of PCB. But you can use any type of Arduino uh, program board including Arduino Uno, Arduino Mini, but it's not com compatible with this PCB. Important thing is the configure file. You can modify the basic configurations if you use your DIY PCB wiring, but this is default settings for my design. After confirming the firmware is working, you can flash it to the Arduino board. Make sure your board is connected to a computer and selected the correct com. And uh, build and flash. It should be flashed with success. And the next thing to do is to prepare the TX modules. You use the Express RS configurator. It is compatible with the currently with the Express RS 2.0 or above versions. I use DIY TX module, but you can use any modules from Beta PV or Happy Model or something. And the important thing is that to uncheck UART inverted because that is for the OpenTX or HTX system. The simple TX cannot support inverted UART, so please make sure you uncheck the UART inverted. 
and uh, uncheck feature open check sync. The next thing to do is to build and flash a firmware. There are two options for the shell. The first one is a fabulous design from True Order. It is compatible with the FR Sky M7 core gimbals. Just simply connect the switches. Connect the GX module to the PCB. And connect the gimbals to the PCB. Finally, here it is. Very simple. And another option is the my design. It uses gimbals from the second hand Star Wars. Oh. Cool.